So we're sort of in the state of limbo now. That's how Congressman Frank Pallone describes the battle against the Trump administration's push for blasting and drilling for oil and gas in the Atlantic Ocean. It comes after the Trump administration's appeal of a federal judge blocking it from reopening the Obama-era five-year plan to make Atlantic drilling off-limits. But in the meantime, you know, we continue to be vigilant. That vigilance includes an act or two of Congress. As chairman of the Energy and Commerce Committee, Pallone got the full House in June to approve his amendment in an appropriations bill to restrict funding for offshore drilling in the Atlantic. The House approved the congressman's amendment with bipartisan support, but in the Senate, it seems as if the congressman anticipates the bill drowning in politics. I don't have much hope that the Senate is going to do appropriations bill. So what will happen is in the fall, when, you know, it gets to be October 1st, we will try to get this amendment in the final bill. That vigilance also includes Pallone huddling with protectors of the Garden State's multi-billion dollar generating Jersey Shore, an issue that puts environmental advocates, the business community, and the state all on the same side. There is not even much oil and gas out there by anyone's um, estimate to make it worth it. We have a two and a half billion dollar uh, commercial and recreational fishing industry along this coast. The tourism industry itself is worth almost 45 billion dollars a year. And why would we put any of this beautiful place at risk? It would be devastating if we had an oil spill here on the Jersey Shore, uh, not only to the economy, uh, but especially to the environment. It's something that we all share, and this is a treasure. And when you have a treasure, you protect it and you fight for it, and, and you want the treasure to be enjoyed by future generations. Oil drilling is so, so reckless, and it's only becoming more so under the Trump administration. But the National Ocean Industries Association calls Pallone's amendment premature and short-sighted and says a well-reasoned energy policy would include efforts to determine the location of all energy resources. The American people at least deserve an opportunity to understand the resources available offshore. Congressman Pallone says while it seems they're collecting victories in the courts and in Congress, they assume the battle is never over. In Long Branch, Michael Hill, NJTV News.